Hello, and welcome back to my five-year plan playthrough of RP1. So hopefully I've made some adjustments and my uh, mic audio will finally be a little bit better. Uh, we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, uh, in the last episode I constructed and tested that uh, Soyuz variant, and now we get to do a lunar landing. So hopefully Much that better. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad that's finally sorted out. Okay. I guess I'll try and listen to myself to see if my levels are weird. Say something. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, hopefully your levels are approximately equivalent to my levels, and we'll actually have this sorted out. It seemed to be. Good. Yeah, I tried to, to futz with the Discord volume until it roughly matched the decibels of my mic pickup. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully it's fixed, because I hate listening to my... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me too. Alright, I just double-checked, and this does have the Curl of Cross stuff set up correctly, with uh, decouple force of zero, so we'll we'll see whether that was a big mistake. Um, all right, nothing else of note coming up. And, oh yeah, the last thing that I wanted to do was... see whether this UI looks correct, given that I already checked it in. Best time to test. Well, yeah, I didn't release it, so... <laughs> cool. <Video>. Cool, cool, <laughs> cool. How did I screw that one up? Good to know. Definitely good to know. Uh... Let's look at the obvious places I could have screwed this up. Uh, not in that because it wasn't used. Probably okay. Well, I didn't actually build, but uh. If it had not built, then it wouldn't have failed, so I'm confused. So that, or if it's a modify, otherwise, so that's fine. All right, well, I can always futz around with it later in the debug client. Let's actually do the thing. So after I launch that mission, what else do we have to launch? By that mission, the Soyuz you were building yesterday? No, I, that, the capsule doesn't unlock for another four months. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, three months. Uh, I could fly a... I could definitely fly a lunar mapper mission. So I have enough biomes. Uh, if only, <laughs> if only. Uh, I may accept it and, and count it as cheat completed from this, given that I've finished the mapping. Uh, or the thing that may actually make sense is to just not require launching a mission for this one. Given that if you did your job with the other probe and put it in a frozen orbit, then you should get this. Mm, that seems 
suboptimal, given that. Oh yeah, no, that's dumb because yes, for exactly the reason that I didn't allow that for the orbital version. Because then you can, yeah. I mean, maybe we should make the optimal one use a different instrument or something. So it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't seem like busy work if you if somebody has actually completed all these. Yeah. Oh, that's what I can do. Um, also, let me look at... There's... Here we are. Uh, rendezvous... Oh, I okay. I guess I have to actually look at it in the either the debug interface or just here. Um, <sighs> Visual Assist still hasn't reparsed the project. Don't understand it. Super weird. it to reparse. Reload solution. There we are. Let's see if that fixes it. Whoops. Uh... Let's see. Nope, that somehow didn't actually fix it. What the heck? It still claims that, yeah, Visual Assist is super confused. That's extremely weird. It's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Because, like, it's correct over here. Contracts. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's correct here. And it's not showing up there. But Visual Assist was super confused. Um, All right, yeah, so there's no blocking required. So you can do EVA and rendezvous on the same flight, which means that what we actually should be doing is uh, creating some kind of satellite that we can use as a rendezvous target. Mm -hmm. Um... Thing is, though, uh, we've already sent those vessels into orbit with all our science instruments. So, mm -hmm. so it'll be a needless satellite 
other than as a rendezvous target. Unless I can think of... I mean, I guess technically what I would do is I would rendezvous with the upper stage of this. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that seems like the best bet. Because then at least I'm getting confidence out of that launch. And I think the marginal cost of adding a TLI stage and a probe on top is pretty low. Sure. There's almost none if it's just a science core or something like that. Hmm? No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, like sending a something to go into lunar orbit. Oh, sorry. I was thinking of the opposite of like the thing you're adding to low uh, Earth orbit just being a science core. Oh, I was just going to rendezvous with a spent stage. Won't it? Okay, well, I guess it still counts even if it's out of EC. Yep. As long as it's not debris, it should count. In particular, as long as it's not the same launch, <laughs> it'll count. Like, I could rendezvous with an already existing spent stage, except that I have debris turned off for Principia performance reasons. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see. Is there anything over here I haven't flown yet? I mean, orbital, orbital perturbation experiment I haven't flown yet. That's the other thing I could do, is I could send up a, a constellation of these things. Of like a half dozen of science cores. Mm-hmm. Other thing I haven't flown is I don't think I. F no, I did fly it. Never mind. I didn't fly it to the moon, but I flew it. Earth orbit. All right, yeah. All right, so this is 12k. Where my alternative is. That made almost no difference in cost. It made more difference in integration time, but not much. So the bulk of the cost is coming from this. Would it not be closer to use one of your the existing lunar mapper thing and rip off one of the ones you sent. So you don't need two of them. Uh, I was going to replace it with a science core. Gotcha. Or a bunch of science cores. Just, just to get a order of magnitude understanding of... So that cut things down a lot, but it's still it's still just an expensive launch vehicle to launch. 
Yeah, I thought they were at 6k, not 8k. Hmm. Guess upgrades over time. Hmm. I think the 6k version didn't have the upper stage, or at least the expensive upper stage. Yeah, nope. Still expensive. It's just it's just plain old expensive. All right, so an extra 10 days for 400 confidence seems fine. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I'm about to launch a spent stage, which if I increase my debris limit, We'll solve the problem neatly. Yeah, I thought that's what the plan was. You were going to launch a lunar mapper and then use the spent stage off that. No, I'm I'm launching my lunar lander. And oh, I'm, okay. that's still going. Okay. I haven't I haven't actually launched it yet. Gotcha. So, then I don't have to do this because I'd rather spend the. I'd rather get the confidence from three-person orbital, which is, I mean, oh yeah, let me look at the integration time of, that Soyuz that I was building. Now that I've exited, exited and go back in, Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> the integration time is kind of through the roof. Everything tooled? Uh, not quite, but that's a marginal increase. But every little bit will help. Yeah, that just takes it down to 75 days. So it's it's effectively double the time of launching a lunar mapper. And it's definitely not double the confidence, although the relevant bit is that it will extend the retirement of my astronauts. By contrast, what's the cost to launch another one of these? Since I think I had enough space for to make it a 10-day mission. Okay, yeah, this is this is cheap to launch. Also, let's fix the <laughs> the solid stuff. Oh, you can't turn off staging on the engine. Interesting. Anyway, um, the, the uh, does the retro the the primary retros on the Voskhod have a actual failure chance? Don't think so, because the test flight module would show up there. Yeah, exactly. Staging to stage zero or whatever. Yeah, I'm not seeing any test flight module. I think the actual vert, the actual alternative is we just get rid of that. Yeah, do that too. Oh, there's the retro decoupler. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we could also do that. Okay. Um... Let's see if we have enough to take us to 10 days, given that somebody made it a 10-day contract. Hey, it have made it 11. It's true. The difference made it a little lower. It's true. True story. At least you don't have to play contract with lead now. Yes. 95 liters. All right, so let's give it a little more electricity. This is not going to work, is it? No, it's not. That's nah, yeah. we don't have enough. We don't have enough space. We'll have to actually yeah. add some tanks. Or just use the backup retro and take the propellants out of this. <laughs> Not sure how much delta view that backup retro really give, gave you. Well, if you decouple the service module first, it gives you a bunch. Okay. See if we do this. Oh, retro's in the wrong stage. Let's make the retro not in that stage first. Respectable, 70 meters per second. Since this is only 135, then it's probably enough. can't really orient after you decouple the service module though, so have to be careful of that. Yep. Yeah, I don't honestly have a... I think just adding extra tanks is probably the better route. Yep. That said, I also my astronauts are going to be booked, so this stuff isn't going to work anyway. So lunar mapper it is. Unless I can think of anything else useful to launch into Earth orbit or anywhere else. And I'm not coming up with anything. Nothing that will give you confidence. Well. Yeah. Let's upgrade the solar panels. From 19 watts to 25 watts, so that's a total of 10 extra watts, that's fine. Except that isn't actually useful because the thing it's relaying is 
uh, not higher than TL3. So instead, let's pump this a little bit. Give it a little bit extra delta V. this all right radiation detector is and, okay so let's swap this out for our first one of these yeah might as well get that started yep <laughs> Right, so we need to figure out what what was in the other probe that is not in space low yet. What do you mean? So I had I didn't have the same experiment fit on both. Right. Okay. So this was the upper of the two. Let's look at the lower of the two. The lower of the two has imaging spectrometry, viz, mass spec two, and micrometeorite. The other thing I need to do is I need to not set the debris this thing. Okay, because infrared radiometer two, moon, we have space low of it, as expected. All right, cool. That's all good. So we'll fly this thing, and it'll also give us a little bit extra comm relay potential, maybe. This one going straight to low lunar, or are you yeah. also going to try it? Okay. Cool. Yep.
Okay, and we have tons of Delta V, so we can do whatever the heck we want. All right. So let's get this one cranking. And let's do our lunar landing. Yep, let's hit far side. Okay, and I guess let's look at MEO. Okay, so... Actually, we can look at MCI. There's Lunar Map for two. Which side of the moon are you actually on, anyway? You're on the unhelpful side of the moon. Cool. <laughs> it's honestly kind of tempting to have a little tiny relay thing that doesn't enter lunar orbit but just shoots on past and handles relay during landing. Yep, you could do that. Because like a science core and a couple of comm dishes is not that expensive. But, anyway, uh, if we're an MEO, that... Actually, since you don't, I was going to say, you don't even need a real dish to go back home. You just need a dish to point at, you know, yeah. one of the other mappers. Okay, that's actually better than I feared. So we might actually well have some comms. Might be okay. Okay. Let's do it.
Oh, turns out we're just about at our window. That's convenient. Which means in four days and whatever, it'll be correct. I think you should put in a flight time that is closer to the actual flight times you're getting versus... Yeah, maybe. Or maybe that'll just lead to an even worse transfer. I'll try it. Maybe. Let's try it. More 3. like four. Three point. Yeah, three point four. I guess is about right. Oops, we just yeah. passed it. Well, it's it's fine. Up. We'll we'll warp around. I mean, you can also just launch on the launch now inclination. It's nearly east. Uh yeah, but I actually remember that that node was in four days and something hours. So waiting an additional day with a three and something day transit will be correct. Right. I think. We'll see. Yep.
Uh, it was dark, so I couldn't see whether it coral have crossed correctly. <laughs> I looked away. Yeah. Oh well. At least nothing blew up. I mean, they're tumbling and they're oriented right, so probably, probably was fine. Yeah. I just remember we had the hyper-powered thing before. Getting there. Okay. Finally inserted. Alright, let's see how this transfer looks and see if I made you make a mistake. Oops, got to keep this on ECI until I make the maneuver. Now I can put this on MEO. All right. Four days. And...
two days and 22 hours. Well, it's a cheaper transfer. Advance time a little bit on the departure. Yep. I was mostly hoping that you'd end up in plane, so it's it would be easier to hit far side. Yep, and it looks like that's correct. Need a little more delta V. Or just, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to be an MCMF, don't I? Three days and five hours, getting there. Definitely can do what you wanted to do with the uh, yep. skimming orbit. Yep. And we can hit right on the far side basin. All right, cool. I'm glad I didn't make you string that up then. <laughs> nope, all good. You still want to aim for an impact? I thought you were just going to go for very low and then... I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess not, yeah, you're right. And the nice thing about this is that then our, then our gravity losses will be a good bit lower. Also be arriving at lunar dawn in about 15 days of sunlight. That would be nice. I'll just hope that comp set is in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. And the rebase was fine. I'm going to inch time forward a little bit, Oops. but I think actually we want a little more prograde so that we come in a little higher. Or sorry, a little less prograde. That looks about right. I think this is fine, but uh, I thought for even less gravity losses, you'd want to be like have a 10 kilometer PE, so you're actually fully sideways for the retrograde burn. Uh, that'd be true, except that my like one minute long suicide burn, or two minute long suicide burn, would more than kill horizontal velocity. Uh, okay. And then we just start dropping. Because uh, if we're just skimming, then uh, our flight path will diverge as we burn retrograde along our orbital track, I believe. Well, that's true, even if you're not quite skimming. I mean, right. It will diverge some, but like, yeah. 
Yes. The the sharper the Yes. Yeah, we're on the same page there. But this is like a little bit better, I think. Okay. Hey, get in my belly. Um there is no like unlike in Legacy RP1 where there were all sorts of things about like what is the ratio of up, like engine bab to R&D upgrades there just isn't some like correct ratio in the new RP1 there just isn't it just depends on your program state depends on what you're trying to do um depends on how many optional contracts you're flying bunch of stuff yeah but more specifically because there's no multipliers on the RD complex specifically there's no like magic number that you should be paying for this versus that the the efficiency upgrades are coming out of tech researchers now yeah Okay, at some point. There we go. All right, let's see what we get. Zoom in a little, see how flat that area is that you're targeting. I mean, I can't see anything. It seems broadly flat. Looks like we're in the far side basin. Yeah. Real question is going to be... Um, where is... Relay gonna be hopefully somewhere good. I guess we'll sort that out after you do the maneuver. Oh, it's going this way. Shoot, we shouldn't have waited the day. We'll see. I guess that lunar mapper still has delta V to make an adjustment if necessary. Yep.
see what we get. Pretty close. Yep. Not the closest, but pretty close as these things go. And conveniently, It's off in the right direction. It's higher. Cool. All right. So that must have been due to a change in the exact time when the burn started. Yep. And this is in three days and like four hours. Right about there, I think, actually. Yeah. Okay. So now the fun part. See how much we mess up our <laughs> trajectory by rotating. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to mess them up with these lower energy transfers. Yep. Okay, that's not bad. All right. Let's let's go. Saved. Okay, never mind. I thought we were going to check that satellite position before he warped. I mean, I'm not going to know what it is until I warp, unless I switch to it and predict its future. Also, that tells me that I definitely need to move that note back some. Mm -hmm.
which means I think we're we're coming in a bit shallow which is not great I mean it's good in some ways but it's bad in others all right hopefully that's a minute earlier And it's, Nilsony. yeah, d Good. dish. Sorry, what were you going to say? That's what I was going to say. Yes. Uh, Lunar Mapper 2, I believe is the right one. Have comms, that's good. Yep. Guess I could have waited a little longer. As long as you land in far side base, and hopefully it'll be fine. Yeah. Let's turn on our lights. Oh, we're above the moon's highlands. That's interesting. Why are we above the highlands? Because we're going over the crater wall? Hard to see even for me. Maybe we're not actually pointed at the far side basin. think you undershot. Yeah, I guess we want to be further north. Not just that, but also further um, west? West. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't think he landed at Midlands before, so it'll still be a new biome, but... Yeah. It will. I mean, we have the Delta V, let's... I guess we can try to squeak over a little. If you have you use MechJub's uh, landing planner, you could see how close you are to the other biome. Yep, that's true. And I'm going to have a big old cross, but that's okay. West. Yeah. Oh, no, it's way further south. I was aiming for that. <laughs> it's down I here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's just land in the Midlands, I guess. Yeah.
or the highlands. Doesn't really matter. As long as it's reasonably flat, I don't actually care. Uh, no, this, it's a pretty severe slope. That's not good. Are you seeing the slope, is it? Uh, because true altitude is decreasing way faster than altitude above sea level. look down see what we're over if we can keep going Just past it mm, I'm boosting backwards Oops. Mm. Yep, we're going to boost back a little bit. I guess we kind of need to just try landing here. We're running a little low on delta V. Not that low, because we're only two kilometers up, but low enough that I don't really want to mess around. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully your probe's stable enough. Yeah.
Okay. Good enough. The lights didn't really seem to do much of anything. No, the lights are doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, this was a really bad slope. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the lights don't seem to actually be doing anything at all. Let's say occluded or broken. Oh, in shadow. It's fine. They're not actually broken. Anyway, we landed. We're fine. Yep. Ten degree slope. Could be worse. Could be much worse. Yep. Okay. Three hundred more for your uh, breakneck program. Yep. Which conveniently we'll get with this, and then we don't have to launch the orbital flight stuff for a bit. Yeah, the science is really making a difference on confidence. So, interestingly enough, as it happens, I'm going to finish this just about the same time I finish... Uh, well, I've already finished this. I can complete it at any time. It's just ramping up. Even at best, it's paying 257 and so... Even in the best case scenario, it's paying no more than the flat version of this. Yep. Yeah, even at the start when it's not paying much, it still pays a ton <laughs> compared to anything else I could be doing. What else would I take? I guess I'd take more surface exploration. Yep, that's always fun. Yeah, gotta send a Mars rover. You have eight years to do it in at least. Although the fact that it takes three slots. Well, you can upgrade admin. I mean, it's fine because I'll be able to have it and Crude Lunar at the same time and without upgrading admin. And then I can upgrade admin to take something like. Uh, stationary comms. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I was going to do. Um. 
yeah, I could also take this, which is a reasonable thing to do. Bunch of options. Anyway, I think I'm going to call quits there, though. Yep, reasonable. I'm getting kind of sleepy, yep. too. I'd like to come by. All right, thanks for having me. Yep, and thank you, See everyone. See you next soon. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you next time as well. Bye.